uh, very interesting matches in my opinion. And now we turn our attention to uh, the women's singles again. The Olympic champion Carolina Marin up against uh, Sayaka Sato from Japan. Of, uh, Indonesia Open 2017. Here's a look at the draw. We're in the uh, upper part of the draw, the uh, second quarter, and uh, as you can see, the uh, quarterfinal has been decided in the upper quarter. Tyson Hing against Ho Ping Zhao. Quite as uh, expected. Here's uh, the two players. Kelly Marin, the reigning uh, Olympic champion has uh, slipped to number eight on the uh, world ranking. 25 years of age from um, Huelva in Spain. Oh, no, no. You want, you want, you want. Sayaka Sato. years of age, both left-handers. So common to see these left-handed encounters. All right, ladies, we're going to do the toss. I have Carolina Sayaka. Uh, Carolina, you're going to choose. That's red. That's black. Two more. She wants red. So I'm flipping this over here. Black, it is your choice. You're going to receive. What side do you prefer? Okay, switch side. So. Uh, Sayaka Sato won the coin toss and elected to receive, whilst Carolina Marin then had the option to uh, choose sides, and she chose to stop the match on this near side of um, the court. And as we saw the uh, head to heads, the last encounter actually was uh, just four, three weeks ago in uh, Indonesia Open. First round. Here is uh, a profile of uh, Marin, 172 me centimeters high. It's about five foot seven. As you can see, born in Huelva in Spain, and uh, that's also where she's won her only tournament this year so far. The European Championship was played in the Carolina Marin Arena and uh, she won the gold medal. Beat uh, Ong Kong Rungpan in the first round, quite convincing, 9 and 8. I uh, need to catch a little glimpse of that match. Fairly easy win for uh, Marin. And uh, Sayaka Sato. Miyaki lives in uh, Kanagawa, Japan. Currently ranked 17th and uh, has been as high as 12. Plays his third World Championship, um, Sayaka Sato. Played in 2017, was the 10th seat back then. And uh, lost the first round to Mia Blickfeld. This year she got past the first round with a convincing victory against uh, Sonia Chia of Malaysia who has uh, been improving but uh, Sato was um, clinical in, in that match and her third appearance at the World Championship was actually in 2011 in uh, London. She was seated 16th and lost in the third round back then ready, to Pi Hong Yan. So here are the Spanish coaches Fernando Rivas to the left and uh, Dana Thompson to the right. Japanese head coach for women's singles, Chan Seung Bo. It's Korean, the um, Japanese coach. So Marin, the uh, reigning Olympic champion and two-time former world champion, won the world championship in 2014 for the first time in Copenhagen and defended the title a year later in uh, Jakarta. 
playing her fifth World Championship. First one was in 2013 in Guangzhou, where she lost to the later champion, Rachina Gintanen, and then last year in um, Glasgow, where she lost to the later champion, Notsomi Okuhara, in the uh, quarterfinal in a long, long match there. Here's our umpire, Eric Derush from uh, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Carolina Marin, Spain. And on my left, Sayaka Sato, Japan. Carolina Marin to serve. Love all. Play. So we got the um, match underway. Short clear over. there from uh, Marin that's Line. punished by Sayaka Sato. Of um, the racket there One, by Marin. Two. Yes. Marin is just notifying the umpire that uh, some of the spectators are using uh, flashlights. Okay, okay. One, so. two. Quite an interval between the uh, World Championship appearances um, in terms of uh, Sayaka Sato. Played her first in 2011 and her second in uh, 2017, but that's of course because she suffered a severe injury in the uh, Olympics in 2012 in London, where she was playing Tina Baum. This uh, 14 9 up in the first game when she suffered a severe injury and that has taking her some time to come back from that and uh, of course very positive that she was able to win the Indonesia Open uh, last year in uh, Jakarta. Three, two. She struggled a bit uh, since then. Hasn't um, been past the second round in any of the uh, Tournaments she's played this year. Service over. Great oh. Feel some pressure from um, compatriot Sayaka Takahashi. She's currently not in the uh, Japanese A team. We're in here in the picture. Hasn't had a fantastic 2017, uh, 2018 either. Won the uh, European Championship in her own arena, in her own. Hometown, but um, apart from that, the best result is a uh, semi final in uh, Malaysia Super 500 in uh, January, where she lost Four, to Tai Su Ying 23 21 in the third game. But the interesting thing there is that she actually held four match points 2016 up, exactly as in the Indonesian Open first round match against Sato 2016 up, four match points. Didn't manage to convert. So uh, Five, three. interesting to see if um, the coaches here have um, managed to get Marin to peak at the World Championships.
you rat that uh, cross drop at the net, uh, Marin. So quick on that one, and uh, that made it difficult for uh, Zaya Casato. Struggled a bit with um, unforced errors in uh, some of her matches. Marin. Over. Six, five. Three. Three. The beginning of this first game here of um, Santos, five points. Ah! That's a winner, though. to uh, put it long on the far side of the court. But the drift in the hole here comes from the far side of the court towards the site where Marin is playing. Uh, that means that um, Sayakasato is not um, having an easy task of um, putting pressure on the back line of um, Marin. Reception. Yes. Ten, Gives Marin six point lead here in um, mid game interval in the first game. Excellent uh, cross net shot there from uh, the Spanish girl. confirmation of the score. 11 5, one just seven minutes of play. So, six point lead for uh, Marin as we resume play here in the first game. Excellent uh, follow up there. 12 5. Normally, when we see Marin play, she tends to play much, much better when she can push her clears and her lifts like she can here in the first game, so... And it's gone wide, even though... 13, she's well ahead here, there's still a lot of things to be uh, tested, a lot of questions to be asked. Change ends, but obviously a very, very good start for the Olympic champion. Fourteen five. 
absolutely totally different playing conditions than three weeks ago in Indonesia where there's a lot of drift in the hole and plays really fast it plays a bit slower and uh, sometimes you missed that one 15, five. be important for her to get her game going just a little bit more. Hey! Before the um, 16, change five. events. That's 11 consecutive Four. points for Carolina Marin. Put a hold to that, uh, Sato, but um, 17, five. the champion team to run away with this uh, first game. White and the run of points forward. come to an end. Six, 14 19. consecutive points for Carolina Marin. Of course, just a matter of time before the first game here is over, and now 14 match point, uh, game points. Sorry, game point six. Just not been in it at all. Sato. We have um, Seven, counted it. She's only scored three points herself. The other four is um, mistakes by Marin. There's the first game. Very, very convincing game, fashion Marina, for seven. the Spanish Olympic champion. Played at a really, really good pace in this uh, first game, but um, it was not really a match for her. In this first game, here's Cliff Mason the score 21 7 in 13 minutes of play. うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。う
back to square one and uh, treat this as a totally new game. So, so important, in my opinion, for Seiya Kasatsu to get a good start to this second game. Pressure on um, Sakasato, even from this far side of the court. There's Marin. Challenge from uh, Sakasato. I don't think she has much hope of uh, it being reversed, that uh, verdict by the linesman, but I think she just needs a break because this goes too fast for her. And uh, all credit to Marin for finishing out that first game so quickly and with such a big margin. That's uh, way out. As I said, it hasn't had um, a fantastic 2018 Sayaka Never previously been past the second round after she beat Marin in uh, Indonesia Open. She lost out to uh, Kirsty Gilmore of um, Scotland. In fact, the only time since she won that title in 2017 in Indonesia Open. She's reached the quarterfinal was in Denmark Open 2017, where she eventually lost to Chenu Fei. Good shot. Very efficient shots from Marin. Excellent attacks where technical wise she's not using a whole lot of arm. It's the racket who does most of the job. That one makes it really hard to uh, judge. I think. Had she not used that challenge earlier on, she might have wanted to challenge this one. <laughs> and that's a totally um, transformed Marin we're seeing Six, compared to uh, Indonesia one. Open. And she's gotten a lot of confidence back compared to what I've seen earlier on this year. That backhand kill at the net was proof of that. It's gone wide. Seven, one. Good shot. It's been one of the issues, in my opinion, for Marin since the Olympics, that um, she's struggled with injuries as well. She's had a uh, very severe injury uh, in the sacrum. And uh, in Hong Kong Open 2017, she had to withdraw to, due to a hip injury that also kept her out of um, practice for some time so um, obviously when normally strong players don't get the result there's some kind of uh, explanation she definitely needs to score 
score some points now. The woman in the picture here, Sayaka Sato. And she showed in the Indonesia Open that she could come back against Marin. Can she do it here? I think she's given away uh, too much confidence. Marin also seems to play faster than we've seen her for quite some time. It's a um, sign of um, confidence, Marine executing that reverse slice there. It's not one of her normal go-to shots when the pressure's on, so uh, it's a sign of confidence. Well played. And that cross net court uh, means that she's eight point adrift here in uh, the second game. Won the first game convincingly and has continued in that um, fashion here in the second. 11 3 up after just 21 minutes of play. Part one, twenty seconds. Part one, twenty seconds. Uh, frustration in the pictures here from uh, Sayaka Sato of Sayaka Sato and. Uh, from the coaching, from the uh, body language and the tone there, it um, seems like it, this is uh, Marin's to lose. I don't think they had any new plans or that Sato was uh, capable of uh, raising the pace. This could be a real confidence booster for uh, Marin. Well played. That's of course um, really, really encouraging when you, as a player, have been struggling for a long time, and suddenly you feel that it's almost back. It almost feels like when you played at your absolute best. The speed in the the legs are there, and the, the shots are well placed, hitting the lines. Yeah, there's a challenge. The initial feeling was that it might have been just enough wide to justify the uh, out call by the linesman. Let's see what uh, Hawkeye says. Now it caught the line. Good challenge by uh, Sayaka Sato. Sato, she has quite a bit of court to work with there. But um, typical sign of um, low confidence. Mark. 
And so far, she's uh, totally steamrolled her opponents in uh, the first two rounds here, Carolina Marin. The winner of this match at the moment very much looks like it's going to be the Olympic champion. He's uh, playing the winner of uh, Sana Neval and uh, Rachinak Intanan that we're showing here on Centre Court later on today. Playing the winner of that match in the uh, quarterfinal tomorrow. Dive wasn't enough. So nine points adrift. Sayaka Sato. It's it's really hard to um, to see how she is going to come back. Um, must try to put some pressure on Marin and, and hope that um, she can provoke some errors, get some easy points. Good shot there. It's gone long. I think I would uh, perhaps use a challenge to just get a look at just how long it was. Seven fifteen. Oh, yeah. It's long. That's better. Three consecutive points by um, Sato. Sato, but uh, missing that last little uh, edge. Japanese girl. Nine, Another good um, tight spinning matchup from uh, Sayaka Sato. A couple of points more, and he uh, might. Get uh, Marin to start thinking about um, the missed match point opportunities earlier on this season. That's well played. Excellent body smash. I guess for Marin, it's also important to maintain the uh, focus and concentration. Restore some of the uh, confidence that definitely uh, have been lost since the Olympics. Won only three tournaments since that uh, gold medal in Rio. That's twice the European Championships in 2017 and 2018, and then the Japan Open in 2017. Well, 
Some, uh, encouragement from uh, Chang Seung Po. Also, some verbal uh, encouragement from uh, Fernando Rivas. Called out by the uh, backline judge. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was out. Called in on the side, but uh, 18, 12. too long the shot from Sayaka Sato. Well, <laughs> uh, nothing's really working for. Sayaka Sato. Yes. Seems like also Chen Simbo is knowing what's coming. Colonel Marine two points away from uh, quarterfinal berth. And then uh, Nanjing. Stayed on uh, the Japanese side that one and uh, sets up seven match points for Marin. You can see Spanish head coach Fernando Rivas, he was still urging her on. Many things to take away here and learn to play the stadium. There it is. Carolina Marin, the reigning Olympic champion, two time former world champion is uh, through to the quarterfinals she desperately want to get that uh, third world championship title today it was uh, job and well done Marin, played with pace and uh, put an enormous amount of pressure on uh, her opponent Saya Casato was never really in this uh, match. Here's the last point. And it's all over for Sato, and uh, this is pictures of uh, victory. Still waiting to find her opponent. That will be done later today. Here's confirmation of the score. 21-7, 21-13, and 32 minutes of play. We'll be back in uh, just a moment with the men's singles. Hot favorite Kenta Momota against the young Dane, Anas Antonsen. <laughs>